Hey guys, this is James from Sugar Code, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to enqueue styles and scripts to your theme options page. Okay, so if we head over to the WordPress codex and we look at the page on how to enqueue scripts on admin pages and we scroll down, there is an example of how to load CSS file on all admin pages, which is good if you needed to load it on every admin page, but we don't want to load any files unnecessarily. We want to target a specific admin page, and in this case, the theme options page. So we can use this code as an example. So if we copy that and go over to our functions.php file, so anywhere inside of our functions.php file, we can paste that code from WordPress. And what is happening here is this hook, if you just think of this hook as the current page that you're on inside of the um, admin section of WordPress. So it's saying if edit.php is not equal to the page that we're on, then return. If it is equal to the page that we're on, then we can load our scripts here. In this example, the handle is my custom script, which is fine, we can keep that the same. Um, this part is actually referring to a plugin directory, which is not what we need because we are trying to target our theme directory. So we can use get template directory underscore URI, and then that will take us to our theme directory and then we can target the file inside of here we can do the same again for the style sheet um, and we can change this word to style and then we can change the handle to style and then we can keep that the same so the two files that we're trying to enqueue are the um, themeoptions.css which is inside of a CSS folder and the themeoptions.js which is inside of a JS folder. So if we first enqueue the style sheet so we have to do forward slash CSS and then forward slash themeoptions.css again for the JavaScript file, we have to do forward slash JS to get inside of the JS directory and then theme options.js. Um, so, how do we test that this is working? Well, inside of my theme options.css file, I'm just assigning a background color of red to the wrap class, which wraps the entire um, theme options page inside of my themeoptions.js file I am, I've got a, um, a dot hide class um, when you click it it will hide it and then if I just show you the, um, the code that actually creates the theme options page it's wrapped inside of a class wrap and it has a, a line of text with um, the class of hide so when we click this text, it should hide. That is if everything's working and we've queued everything correctly. So if we go back to our theme options page and we refresh the page, we can see that it's not in fact working. Um, so this is probably something that a lot of you have come across. Well, first of all, this is incorrect because it's not the edit.php file. So when we go back over to our theme options page, the first thing you would think of doing is adding this to um, this section, pasting it in, and then checking it again. Still doesn't work? Well, maybe it's this. Let's go back and check. Nope, still not that. Just to get this working, all you need to do is before, um, before this part, you just have to specify that it's inside of the appearance page. So before that, you just put appearance underscore page underscore, and then the name of the um, page under the appearance tab. So if we save that and try that, you'll see that it's now correctly enqueuing our 
um, styles and scripts and I can test that the JavaScript is working if I click this there you go it hides so that is how you enqueue your scripts and styles for a specific admin page I hope that this has been helpful to you guys um, any questions leave a comment below and I'll see you in another video